Uh, they've done a good job. Um, it, it's a fun group to coach. Um, they really understand football. Uh, a lot of those guys are at the next level uh, learning for football, and, and it's fun. It's fun to talk to them about it. Um, they're eager to learn, and, and they're working at it right now, too. So it's, it, it's been good so far. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, we got uh, a lot of guys that have played a lot of football now. Um, and that makes the competition really high. And that's, uh, that's always what you're looking for as a coach because uh, when you got somebody breathing down your neck, um, you know, you don't get to make mistakes um, or else somebody's going to come take your spot. So uh, that part's been really good. And you combine the competition and the fact these guys are all pretty tight-knit. It's, uh, it's a fun group to be around. Um, you know, I, I think kind of like, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, th I think the competition level, that part is really fun for me because um, there really doesn't need, need to be a whole lot of motivation right now. Um, they can see uh, if they're not playing well, somebody behind them is going to play well. So that part's been really good. And uh, I guess to your point about coaching, I'm a little bit different. Um, these guys are pretty experienced now. A lot of them have been in here two or three years now, and um, they understand football. So you can really get in-depth with them about, you know, Offensive uh, identification, um, uh, specific looks, um, and uh, it's it's been really fun. What have you seen so far? Nick Henrich, and where do you want to go from see, continue to see him grow? I mean, he's made big jumps, big strides. Uh, number one with Nick is I mean, keeping him healthy. That's I think that's first and foremost. Uh, he's had a little bit of an injury history. He got banged up his first year, uh, a little bit banged up last year. So keeping him healthy is always you know, the first priority. Um, and then for him, continuing just to get stronger which he's going to do naturally. Um, he's a worker, so that, that, that'll come. Um, but, I mean, he, he's a natural football player, uh, really intelligent, great football movements. Um, and he's, he's, made a, he's going to make a big jump from, from uh, his first year starting to this year. You guys have Honus uh, out there doing, doing what you need him to do this spring. Um, didn't necessarily see him this morning, but where's, where's he at in his, uh, you know, in his progression? Yeah, he's still kind of uh, recovering from that groin surgery he had in the offseason. He's going to be very limited this spring. Um, he had a little bit of a flare-up, so he, uh, he didn't do anything today. But um, he's going to be a limited rep guy all spring. Um, you know, I, I, hats off to him for grinding through the season like he did because uh, I've had that injury. It's not fun. Um, and he kind of had to limp through practice. Um, and he really wants uh, to be not only full speed for – games but full speed for practice all season so um, we're going to monitor him really closely this spring hey what does it mean uh when you um, have a couple of guys uh, like jason peter and jay foreman uh, who are out there just you know, providing encouragement you know walking around obviously they know a lot about being black shirts so do you what's uh, what can that do for the defensive players out of practice you know, I love when you get former players, especially really successful former players, just getting different perspectives. Because everybody sees the game a little bit different. And, um, you know, I'm a football historian guy. I, I grew up around it. Um, I love hearing, I don't want to call Jay and, Jason, Jay and uh, Jason old guys, but I like hearing old guys' stories. Um, and, and like I said, all those guys have played a lot of football. And not only did they play here as black shirts, but each one played in the NFL for a variety of coaches. So they got they got a different perspective, and I think that's always good when they can talk to talk to guys about you know their background and, and different things they've seen. I guess what's Claire been showing you so far since he's been here, and kind of how he kind of I guess got got teammates and things like that. Um, I mean, it, it shows me number one that they, they, they did a good job with him in Northern Iowa because he's a he's a pretty well developed guy. Um, he was a great weight room guy, a great workout guy this off season, and he understands the game. I mean, he, he knows football, he knows concepts. Uh, he's got to learn our concepts now, um, but he's a guy that um, the game comes pretty naturally to him. Um, they did a good job developing him um, before he got here, so you kind of get a, a little bit of a ready-made product uh, as he got over here. What's the toughest thing that's part of making that level? Is it just speed type stuff? Or is Pro I mean, probably a little bit. Uh, just, you know, I, I guess it's similar to making the jump from college to the NFL where, you know, everybody's a little bit better at each position. Um, but, you know, football is football at the end of the day. And uh, he knows football. And, you know, there's a lot of really good players, a lot of good teams uh, at the level he was playing last year. So, um, you know, he's adjusted very well so far. Reimer was one of the surprises last year. He kind of picked up where he left off. And what do you expect now of him this year? 
Yeah, I mean, I think I think Luke can be as good as he absolutely wants to be. I mean, I think he can, you know, potentially play football when he's done here. So um, he's been really good. Uh, did a great job uh, in the weight room in the off season. So he's gotten bigger. He's gotten faster. Um, and then same thing with the rest of the guys. Uh, he really understands the game. He understands the ins and outs. He understands how offenses are trying to attack us. So uh, he's a fun guy to, to watch. He's a fun guy to coach. Has he stepped into a little bit of a leadership role? Yeah, he is. I mean, he's, uh, you know, I think he's gotten past the point that I'm a walk-on guy trying to earn my stripes, where now he's proven that he's a good football player, um, uh, could be a legit top-end, you know, linebacker in this conference. And um, I think he's got a confidence about him, and he's not afraid to speak his mind. And uh, he's confident. He knows what he's doing. So if you, uh, if you produce, you've got a chance to be a leader. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks,